Hey everybody, so I'm here with a um, quick energy reading messages, however you want to look at it. Um, so if you're interested in a personal session, you guys know how to contact me. My information should be down below. Check an old video if I, just, if I forget to put the information down below, you guys. So with the Natural Beauty and Authenticity card, the Stress Reduction card, and the Easy Does It card, it's kind of giving me the energy of knowing our worth. Knowing who we truly are, not looking for validation, not needing validation from people. Some of us may have been um, reared and raised that way. That could be some type of old conditioning, old, um, uh, what is it, generational curse, sorry, that we've had on us where we look for validation or we look for somebody to tell us, hey, you're doing great. Maybe we didn't get that as a child. Um, when we would do certain things, it just wasn't pro like we wasn't properly validated. So now, obviously, we're needing to validate ourselves. That's kind of giving me that energy. There's something also with forgiveness that's um, peaking us more energetically, like of that, like it's raising our vibration, us being able to forgive others, to look at the big picture. Like I've often said, like my dad, you know, always tells me, still does to this day. Um, looking at the big picture, it's just like being aware and having like a compassionate type of energy when it comes to situations and people where we may not see the big picture. Or okay, so okay, let's just give an example, right? So say somebody that we know where there's always been like toxic exchanges with you and this person, or maybe you've always bit your tongue to basically deal with this person, to oblige this person or whatever the case is, because these, this person has like some toxic tendencies. So now like being in this energy where you're able to, because you've done a lot of fine tuning on yourself, a lot of um, like it's, it's a raise of the vibe, like your vibration is literally raised. And I know my eye, eyelash, yeah, I'm doing my eyelashes over, okay? But like it's a raising of the vibration that's able, so you you're able to see. Um, it's like this energy of compassion, like because you have it within you, you're able to give it to others. You get what I'm saying? Like I've always say, it starts within, comes without. Everything is a reflection of us. If you fine tune this, if you forgive yourself, if you have a compassion with yourself, it's going to easily be able to be done on the outside. So some of you guys may be realizing this and this may not just be one person. I did hear Scorpio. It could be people in general where you're able to see the big picture. It doesn't mean that you have to, um, you know, crutch them or what's the word? I can't think of the word, y'all. But basically give them passes on some of their behavior. But you're able to see things in a more mature more, like I said, that, that compassionate type of energy. Okay, let's put you pushing, y'all. Okay. Okay, because you're owning your divine strength. You're showing your true self. Yeah. Okay. That helps you as well. All right. The world card. I see right here. I am tired. I'm ready to take a shower and lay down brown. All right, let's see what the messages are that we need right now. What are the messages that we are needing? Oops, okay. What are the messages? What are the messages? We got the Eight of Pentacles. Steady work. Steady work. Um, consistency. Working on an idea. Working on something. Some of you guys think mum's the word. Whatever you're planning, whatever you're working, whatever you're structuring, whatever you're fine-tuning, shut up. What are the messages that we need right now? What are the messages? And y'all knew I didn't mean it that type of shit up. Just don't tell nobody. Keep it to yourself right now. Especially if you're at the planning stages, please keep it to yourself. Consistency will pay off. I guarantee. It might some of y'all are gonna expect a huge blessing, like a very big surprise. Some of you guys, this might take a few months, three months. Maybe some of you guys, it might take three days, three to four days. All right, thanks. All right, let's see. So we at the bottom of the tech. We got, bottom of the tech. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> we have the Ace of Wands, new beginnings, right? 
Ace of Cups and the Moral of Fortune, y'all. Y'all got some new shit coming. Y'all got some good energy coming towards you. Staying in alignment, doing the things that we intuitively know that are going to keep us on this vibration. It's very important that whatever vibration you are on up there, it's important. I mean, of course, okay, whatever happens, you can't control certain things outside of you. It's about fine tuning yourself inside. And I've talked to you guys about that. You can't control this shit out here. All you can do is this. So no matter what goes on, you have to have this stable energy so it won't knock you off your square and put you back down to this low vibration and even bring you to a place where you may do things that you know are not good for you. Your mind, body, soul, and spirit, okay? So the eight of wands is here. It's where it was eight. The eight for me is abundance. That's how I always receive it. <coughs> Your consistency, like I said, pays off, especially with that eight of wands being there with the sun call. <laughs> what I was telling you, you okay, stand, no, I'm good. Staying in a high vibration, the king of cups, the two of wands, the hermit. Some of you guys needing to make decisions in your life about certain people, certain relationships, certain situations. I see this as three separate situations. Needing to make a decision possibly with a water sign or a Virgo. Um, you're shifting into a decision like for some of you guys that decision where it came out I was not getting ready to say that you're, so with some of you guys you're shifting into the decision when it comes to a king of cups or a Virgo for you guys you're shifting into a decision like where you're going to make an adamant decision or you're going to stick with that um, we're like this eight of pentacles going back to that the eight of pentacles the eight of wands and the sun card is basically just affirming confirming what i already said basically it's just that's pretty much what it is um you're being consistent with your endeavors with your work with your whatever progress you've been making and it's pushing you into this energy of forward movement because maybe you were feeling stuck or stagnant at some particular juncture but since you're like allowing yourself to stay in a high vibration, that's that core. That's why this is here. The sun card, because the, the sun card is about joy. It's about happiness. It's about bliss. It's about in here. Whatever's going on in your life, it really is not going to affect you like it used to because of the fine tuning. It won't, it's like you're going to be oblivious to certain shit, if that makes sense. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo or fire fire energy, very strong, but specifically Leo. Um, there's something, there could be a lesson or something you need to understand possibly about this water sign and this Virgo. Because it could be this energy of making you feel out of sorts this could be somebody connected to you fire energy water energy and specific virgo energy the moon there is some happiness right here your divinity your your divine feminine energy is also like i hear boosting your morale boosting your self-confidence boosting your emotions there is some happiness possibly um surrounding a scorpio i did hear square i did hear scorpio a minute ago surrounding um a, a, um some emotions some cater to emotions. I don't know what the hell that means. Like somebody helping you on your journey, like wherever you are right now, there may be some type of connection, some type of friendship that you're going to be forging or you have been forging that's going to like help you in um, and some decision that you need to make. This is also you tapping into your higher self. Like this is your higher self for some of y'all. Or this could be some some um, divine um, uh, ancestor as well. Could be a Scorpio. This is specific water. There is a lot of water. It's the King of Cups. We got the Scorpio card. And we have um, the Scorpio card. The Moon card. And the Ten of Cups as well. There's some type of connective energy when it comes to this Moon card and this Ten of Cups. Like somebody had to realize something when it like, like probably even going back to that original energy that I was talking about where you um, are truly okay. 
where you are truly understanding. Okay, my light went out. Where you are truly understanding. I apologize, y'all. Why someone or people like you're understanding the deepness of why people are the way they are and why they do things the way they do things. You know, as opposed to coming, not saying you were being judgmental, but you just didn't have no understanding of this. And you had to go within to like realize some things about yourself, this situation, this relationship, these people. And it could be these water signs. I don't know. This Virgo, whoever it is. Okay. I love you guys. Peace. Take care. Peace.